Uh, my name is Makbul. Mahmoud. Uh, Makbul in Riyas. Are you Muslim? No, Christian. Yeah. You see, because but, the names today means nothing. Yeah. You know, I tell you, most deceptive, you know, most deceptive. Yeah. I have come across names, Major Nasir, you think he's a Muslim. And you're talking about he's a Muslim, but he's a Christian. He is the... The greatest enemy is trying to steal your children, but you think he's your brother. Ahlan wa sahlan. Go ahead. Okay, Makbul Indriyas. Makbul. Yeah. Sir, when you opened your talk, you opened with derogatory remarks regarding those three gentlemen. A man of your stature, do you think it uh, behoves? What rationale do you have talking about a fellow man like that? Then also... No, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You asked a question. One question at a time. Please, if you're going to deliver a lecture, I won't remember what no. you said. No, you made a comment. Let me respond. Yeah. Then you can make another comment. Okay. It's about my tone, about my voice, about what I say. Sounds offensive. I says, you know, whatever I'm talking is insipid. Insipid, tasteless. There's nothing in it. Compared to your Lord Jesus, Compared to Jesus Christ, the veritable Son of God, according to you, God in, on earth, how does he speak? He said, you generation of vipers, you snakes. He's talking to his people, the elders of his people. You wicked and adulterous generation, haram kor pom. He's talking to his people. You hypocrites, you fools, you whited sepulchers. Am I right? Am I quoting correctly? Right. Look, compared to that, Ahmad Bida. Compared to that, I don't know how many marks you're going to give me for virulence. You know? How many? Compared to Jesus? Zero. Zero. Right, next question. Okay, I read in the newspaper the other day, only during this week, somebody called, supposed to be a Muslim scholar, said that uh, St. Paul is Satan. Uh, I don't think uh, any Muslim scholar or yourself would call anybody, uh, any man from any religion whom we honor, or they honor, as one of the saints or as one of the apostles. Uh, you build now, cost. shall I answer that? Look, some Muslim scholar. Mm -hmm. I am not doubting your, your veracity. But what the Christians are telling my Prophet, you know, 60,000 books have been written against the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Do you know that? 60,000. <laughs> Let me read it to you. This is your publication. This is your publication. This is your publication. Listen. Look. This is Mother Basilia Shilink. This woman is writing, Christian woman. Allah or the God of the Bible, what is the truth? This is your Christian publication. Now listen, this Molvi, whatever he said about St. Paul, is nothing compared to what you are now telling us about my prophet. You see? He says, thus the two figures, Muhammad and Christ, are the greatest contrast imaginable. Jesus represents love and peace, whereas Muhammad stands for hatred and strife. Yes. Shh, please, please, I don't want your help. I don't need your help, please. Muhammad, he, uh, Jesus, he is the lamb. Oh, Jesus is the lamb. Garib lucky guy. Bakri bachka. He is the lamb. Muhammad, however, stands for violence. Having led wars, campaigns on behalf of the supposed message from Allah, supposed message from Allah. Jesus is the embodiment of sacrifice. Indeed, sacrifice was the essence of his life. He himself became the essence, uh, the lamb that was slain as a sacrifice for the world. Muhammad lived for his self-realization. Please, man, don't want to horrify people, waste your time. Look, Jesus, more than a prophet. This is what you're doing among the Afghan refugees. The Christians. Pure people, in trouble, maimed, crippled, amputated there you take unfair advantage of them look at this 15 muslims of the mujahideens they tell how they found forgiveness reason new life in jesus christ how did they do it huh? and the priest was saying we don't go converting people who's doing this huh angels from heaven who's doing this look, look at this okay sir you speak about evangelizing um... look the Great Commission, you, 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 so you and the Muslim, you means the Christian, you, mm -hmm. this is the Great Commission. What, what he says, look at this, on the way to the cross, your ship, good ship, Dulos, Logos, going and harassing my people all over the world. 
the, there are a hundred books here. What you are doing to us, what we have done is God, what is my witness, is really nothing. He's insipid. You see? So now you are behaving like a, a, a virgin, a little girl, you know, like a little girl who has been unjustly treated somehow. When the Christian, what have you done? What did you do to the people in the Philippines? What do you do to my people all over the world? And you are talking like lambs, you know, I said, look, we mean no harm. You conquered the whole of Africa. You conquered my nation here. This subcontinent and you enslaved us for 150 years. No? You Christian, no? Look, there's too much here. What is your question? Now tell me what no, is your question? The question is, I, I would request the just, uh, you gentlemen to kindly let other body allow. Yeah, I'll just... Uh, no, no, this is not a session of debate actually. No, sir, it's not debate. It's just a question and I'll move away. Uh, in, uh, in Quran, the Prophet said that uh, if you don't understand, consult the al Kitab. And then he referred to Torah, Zabur, and Anjil. If, if it was changed, then the Prophet would have say, uh, said... Find, shh, shh, shh. Please, don't waste time. Find this, and I'll deal with it. Come, sit down on this side here. Give somebody else a chance. No, Give him the Quran. Okay. Give him the Quran. I, I don't know the text. Very small question, sir. Very small question. Very small question.